what's up guys welcome back to the channel on today what we're working on is the series roll to seven stock 2024 we are continuing working on the weapon rx7 my time attack vehicle and i've learned some new things uh learned that the timing is off bad learned that we got a lot that we got to take care of a lot of maintenance a lot of clean up and things like that so today that's what we're going to be working on uh right here behind me is my pulley so the reason for this pulley uh from racing beat that you can also purchase from miles of tricks i'll throw that link in the description for you guys for all my rotor heads uh you can get this from miles of tricks but the reason for this pulley is i learned that the timing is off on my track car and so with having another pulley from a different motor on there that was built a long time ago it's a long story but i need this to properly set the timing on this car we realized that i'm losing a lot of horsepower because of it because it's advanced way too far i mean way far and so this is one of the things we're going to be working on today i'm also going to be working on cleaning up the car um just doing some minor maintenance for now like getting getting you know just i have my my trusty uh shop air <laughs> as you would call it and just going to be blowing out a lot of the dust a lot of the cobwebs and dead spiders that's living all up in here and just try to get some stuff cleaned up i will do another video of like a full cleanup of the engine bay but for now we're just gonna blow a lot of this stuff out and then start prepping to take some of this stuff off this might be a two-part video maybe not i don't know but today that's what we're gonna start with also i did not oh my god i'm sorry guys i did not get a video of the ignition coils finished never showed you guys that video and i'm so sorry i had the video something happened where the video got deleted and i never recorded another one and so these i got the coils and everything wired up um there is a video of that which is part of this series road to seven stock 2024 and i do have some videos up of me doing the wiring i just never posted the other video because it was deleted it was lost so i do apologize about that guys um but the coils are finished everything's wired up i did start the car it runs uh, it runs good considering that the timing is off and so today we're going to tackle uh fixing that and how we do that is by changing out that pulley so let's go ahead let's get started uh I'm going to go ahead and start blowing out some of this dirt and dust and debris and we're going to get changing this pulley. All right. We back. Okay. So we got some of the dust, some of the debris cleaned off. Not much. Still got to wipe it down. But next, we're gonna start pulling off the intercooler so I can get down to the main pulley down there. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is put you on a third, uh, first person view, not third person view. First person view, be right back. And there we go. So now you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, so first, intercooler gotta come off. So we're gonna disconnect this line right here. Grab my trusty tools. Get on my little tools. I didn't grab all my stuff. I just grabbed whatever I could. You know, the basics. I don't feel like toting my cart out here. So, what do we need? What do we need? I need a tin. Yep. So, I gotta start getting these off. Just like this. This off. I believe these have a nut on the bottom of it. 
yeah. That way, try to, eh, it can fall. Same thing with this one, has a nut on the bottom. Just to kind of keep it in place. I know it's gonna fall. All right, now, now that that's off, it should be a little loose. There's nothing back here that keeps it supported. It's mainly supported by this. I was making brackets back here, but um, next we're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull from the turbo on here and then pull from here. And that way we can get the intercooler out of the way. Let me grab, I believe those are 11s. Well, at least this one is. I believe this is an 11, yeah. So we're gonna loosen this bad boy up. Enough to be able to slide this off the turbo. Oh, I wish I had my power tools. I left most of my tools at work. So, all right, I'll bring that all the way out like that. That should be good enough. And this, I believe, is a 10. No, this might be an eight. Yeah, that's gonna be an eight. Yep. Just like that. So that should be enough to pull it off. Now let's see. Yep. Now this needs to come up. Oh, it's stuck on it. There we go. So we got that. And this I may have to. Oh boy. I normally take it off from here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Yeah. I normally take it from here. Which I think I might just do. Because that'll make it a lot easier to just pull from the elbow. So, let's go ahead and just crack those loose, crack that loose. Move my trusty tool. And then I should have two more at the bottom down here that I cannot reach. So, grab a 10. 10 should be able to crack these loose. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. That's, that's three. Let me not forget to unplug this, my air temp sensor. I know it's rusty down here, guys. It's dirty, it's been sitting out in the rain. I don't have a garage for it. But that's okay, it's okay. This car was built in my driveway, literally. Shout out to all the driveway builders. Guys who do it on their back. Even though we don't want to. But our love and our passion for our cars. We do it anyway. Shout out to you guys. You guys are the real MVPs. All right. So now that I got that off, move my bag out of the way. Now this should 
it slide off like that. Yep. And we should be able to pull this up. And there is my intercooler. We're going to sit this down here right next to my RX-8. Okay. Now. Whew. Here we go. So now we got to get these belts off. And this pulley has to come out. And then that pulley. But once I get this pulley out, I have to be very careful. Because there's a keyway in here that I don't want to slide out. And I want that to stay. Because if it slides out, then yeah, that's just going to be bad. So glad I'm doing this. <sighs> All right. Let me take a quick break. Go gather some more tools. And I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, so we back, guys. So, went and grabbed my trusty quarter-inch driver. And we're going to continue. Um, I, do, I did realize, or I didn't realize, I'm trying to find my tin. Oh, my God. I always lose my tin. I found it. <laughs> Um, I didn't realize that there's a lot more that I need to consider that I need to get done on this and I, Sorry, I uh, Might make this another might do another video for you guys um, There are some other things that I am considering like changing my water pump um, I'm thinking about updating or not updating, but just putting on a new water pump. That water pump has been on there for quite some time. Um, my pulleys, I'm considering doing, I already have the main pulley that you guys saw and I want to, uh, I want to change out this pulley as well. If you guys can see that one right there. So just a lot going on. Um, so I am going to continue taking some stuff off and try to get, you know, as far as possible. But putting everything back together, that's not going to happen today. However, um, there are some things that I want to upgrade. I'm going to talk to my tuner about and see what I can get done. So uh, continuing, I need to grab my 17 because I believe this is a 17. To uh, break this loose, which is the, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, there we go, break this loose to lower the tensioner to get the belt off, and that's another thing, I'm considering redoing my belts as well, uh, just looking at these belts, see, yeah, my belts need to be they need to be replaced you see they're starting to crack uh so definitely gonna have to get some new belts i'm sure the uh pulley belts are the same way so yeah yeah got a lot got a lot of maintenance to consider uh i knew it wasn't going to be a let me do this this is a lot better so I knew it wasn't going to be a in and out one day type of job because I knew that once I started, I was going to see some things that I wanted to change and I was going to change them. And so it's kind of that technician mechanic mentality where it's, while you're there, let's go ahead and replace this. So there are some things that I'm going to change up and upgrade i should say um one of the things that i'm gonna upgrade let me show you guys is this i don't like this um i don't like to talk bad about companies but this is from cx racing poorly crafted i don't like it and so uh i i don't 
I don't like it. Uh, the way they've designed it, they designed it to fit Series 4 and Series 5 because the bolt hose that goes onto the water pump housing, Series 4 has two bolts, Series 5 has three. And they try to design it to fit either or, and you just can't do that. Um, they should have designed two versions, one for Series 4, one for Series 5. They didn't do that. And so I want to uh, I want to change it. Uh, JDL Manufacturing uh, makes a great one. He makes one for Series 4 and one for Series 5. And so I've been running a lot of his product. I do have his... Uh, manifold I have his manifold let me, let me show you guys this right here is his manifold adapter that allows you to run the series 6 upper intake manifold onto a series 4 or series 5 lower intake manifold FC so yeah so it, it car needs a lot of work you know off camera I was looking at what can I change? What can I better? Um, or what can I make better, I should say? And what things I should upgrade? And so I'm just looking at, since I am preparing this car to hit the dyno again. Uh, sorry. This is one of the key components of me uh, fixing a lot of the issues that the car had. Uh, when we dynoed last year, uh, the car, my, my tuner said that he had to, he had to use way too much duty cycle for the injectors for the car to make power. And we could not figure out what was going on. We thought it was a fuel pump. So, and found out the fuel pump did have some issues. So we replaced the fuel pump, replaced the wiring to the fuel pump, and it still had issues and so my buddy Louie over at DNA Garage shout out to DNA Garage uh, put me on to checking what we would consider for a piston engine top dead center for a rotary and he showed me how to do that and he said if you did not use the pulley that came with that motor um, it's going to be off and so this motor was built 2000 2012 2013 and so I don't remember I don't remember if I use the same pulley I don't remember if um, what I used what pulley I use and from what engine maybe it was an extra pulley I had that I thought would be the same but I learned that with rotary engines the pulley that came with that engine needs to stay with that engine and so Knowing this now, knowing this knowledge, learning this knowledge, I'm able to check the timing of my vehicle and see how far advanced or retarded the timing is. And I believe the timing is advanced way past 20 degrees, which is bad. It's very bad. And so I needed, I needed this racing beat pulley. And so uh, this is one of the key components that I'm going to be changing to address that issue uh, before we hit the dyno and then just addressing you know other issues that the car that I see that the car may have um, you know there's a lot of rust because the car sat outside for about a year um, it was kind of covered up but still you know rain and stuff like that weather changing um, it just it got beat up and so I'm here to clean up a lot of this stuff. Like I said, this is the series, Road to Seven Stock 2024. And then also I'm gonna be doing some track days um, up until that time. I believe Seven Stock will be next year in November. And that gives me a lot of time to prep the car, um, put it on the track, do some testing, figure out what the car needs, what uh, upgrades to make uh, what changes to make so those are things that I'm working on um, and that's content that I'm gonna be bringing you guys so we already started with the ignition coils I wanted to rewire that up with a better wiring better relay next we're tackling the 
main pulley so gonna be doing that gonna be working on that so just wanted to give you guys some some updates now and as you can see the belt oh my god like this is this is horrible like this is bad so these are things that i'm going to be i'm going to be replacing I'm going to be upgrading so stay tuned um this is going to be it for this video like comment uh subscribe hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next video that drops and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace